Hey, how are we doing? It's Ben from EQL Networks and Security. And today we're gonna to be comparing the latest eight megapixel 4K Hick Vision color view versus the four megapixel color view IP camera. We've recently done two separate videos on the four megapixel version turret and the eight megapixel version bullet. I was really impressed with both cameras. If you haven't checked out these videos or want more details on any of these cameras, check it out. I'll actually put the links to the video in the comment sections below. So in this video, we'll do just a comparison video of real world footage taken from these previous videos. If you're new to this channel and like what you see here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to hit us up in the comment sections below. But let's get into this. So let's start with the part numbers. So the four megapixel is a DS2CD. That's all I know it starts with. And then the eight megapixel also starts with a DS2CD. So both part numbers will be listed on the screen. So both of these cameras are in a 2.8 mil lens. So let's take another look at these sensors. So the four megapixel has a one 1.8 inch sensor with 120 decibels of WDR. W, I said WDR, didn't I? Well, it's WDR. And the eight megapixels has a one 1.2 inch sensor and 130 decibels of WDR. So both have an aperture of 1.0. So in both of these tests, the white light LED was disabled. So after this talking, let's go check out the comparison. Okay, so let's just start off with the four megapixel. So we'll start off with our normal walk test. Uh, and then as I'm walking along here, you'll start to see when we freeze it there, just to give you an idea, so we can do a comparison with the eight megapixel. So you still make out facial features, you can still make out colors and, and whatever um, from here. But when we move over to the eight megapixel, you can see it's actually a lot sharper in the image. Now note, there's different times of the, the day here that these were shot. They were shot at two different times, um, but it gives you an indication of what you see. And then when we slightly move it across and freeze it there, you'll see the difference between the two. Uh, funny enough, when you, when you have a look at it, the four megapixel at this point seems like you can read out the number plates better. Four megapixels probably also got a bit of a, a wider view to say compared to eight megapixel. Um, but overall, the eight megapixel is definitely sharper, um, which is what you can, which is what you expect. So now we'll do our walk up close test. Uh, and if we freeze it there, you can still make out everything as per normal. And then we move it across to say the eight megapixel. You can see everything is just a lot, lot sharper in that image, which is, like I said, this is what we should expect from this eight megapixel. Everything should just be sharper uh, and a bit more crisp. And then when we do a side by side comparison, uh, you can actually see the difference between the two. And as you can see on the four megapixel uh, on the right, the, the color of the sky is a lot bluer. This is just probably dependent on the day and the colors and the time that um, both of these images were shot. Um, but overall, you know, both cameras are still producing great images. So now we'll move over into the night uh, images. So this is the four megapixel camera. So we'll do our walk test and you'll, you'll see as I walk by here and um, we freeze it. So you can still see there is no, it's hard to identify someone even at that distance. The beauty of this now is that you can see um, colors such as cars and what someone's wearing, which is the beauty of having these color view cameras. And you'll also notice that from both of these images, you're just getting that little bit of light in that background there. And then what we'll do is we'll move it across to say the eight megapixel and then you'll see the difference between the two images. Now, this eight megapixel, that's, that's a brilliant image. Like it's, it's really sharp, it's crisp, it's clear, uh, especially on the, the, you know, the static objects that aren't moving. But as I'm walking across, you'll see that it's like, it's still blurry. Like it's not any better. You still can't make out uh, any facial features apart from colors and stuff. Um, but you know, that's the difference between the eight and the four. So your images are definitely sharper. Does it help in comparison to say a moving object? Uh, not at this stage. So please note a lot of these cameras that we are testing, they're straight out of the box. So there's, there's no settings being changed. I'm sure you might be able to get this a bit better, um, but we just wanna set things and testing straight out of the box as a good comparison. And then when we move it and freeze it to the next stop, um, it's a little bit hard to tell here because the images are shot from different angles and stuff, um, but you can, you can see the difference. You know, the picture on the left, which is the eight megapixel is just so much sharper to say the picture on, on uh, the picture on the right, which is the four megapixel. Once again, different times of night that these were shot, 
but it gives you an indication as to, as to what you're kind of going to expect. And then finally, what we'll do is we'll do our close-up walk test. Uh, so that's the four megapixel. Uh, so once again, you can clearly see everything there, facial features and recognizable. You can see a little bit of grain here and especially it'd be even more noticeable when we flick it across to the eight. So you can still see how much sharper the image actually is. Um, funny enough, myself is not that sharp. Maybe it just might've been captured on the wrong frame or whatever. Um, but overall, you, you'll see that picture quality for the eight megapixel is definitely sharper. And we'll just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison between the two. Uh, and then you can see here the, the actual difference between picture, like the four megapixel is that little bit more grainiest to say the eight, but that's what you expect. Um, well, that's what I expected to see, this eight megapixel. Um, just produces a brilliant image, especially capturing in all that light. So what are my thoughts on these cameras? Look, the eight megapixel color view produces a great image, but is it worth the extra cost for all those megapixels? So I'll start with the pricing. So to be honest, it's actually estimated at this stage that the eight megapixel 4K camera, we almost double the cost of the four megapixel. Now, also with high resolution cameras, you're gonna to need to understand that you're gonna need bigger storage drives, you know, potentially you're gonna need higher bandwidth and more throughput depending on the number of cameras and types of cameras used on your system. Yeah, the current hardware just not be able, or might not be able to handle all those extra megapixels that's going on. So from the footage, as you can see, the footage and the motion blur hasn't really improved, but you're able to get a capture and clear image. What's that? Doesn't make sense. But it's actually going to be able to capture a clear image when objects are still. But compared to say the four megapixel, you could still identify a number plate and know what color car or clothing someone was wearing. So is the extra cost associated associated with this camera actually worth it. If your budget allows for it and your system hardware is capable of utilizing it, then potentially it would be a good investment. But to be honest, it's amazing to see this sensor technology increase and allowing these higher megapixel cameras um, compared to what they were before just bring images to life and produce more clarity. Look, in my opinion, would I be happy with both cameras? The answer is yes, but you know, especially with color view, the ability to have full-time color and identify what someone is wearing or what color car it is, um, it's gonna really help in trying to identify what's happened. And you really should start to see this become the new standard for, for cameras. So that's it for this video. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit us up in the comment section below for any questions you may have. Make sure you don't miss anything, or to make sure you don't miss anything, click on that bell to subscribe. This will allow you to get notified of our latest product reviews and tips designed to save you time. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business.